Hello and welcome back to the shed. Today's video I'm going to be building on the video that I've done on what the first hand saw should be and I'm going to cover whether you should buy vintage saws or brand new saws. Obviously again I'm talking about western saws here as I know that brand new Japanese pull saws and the like are quite cheap and are a very good way for beginners to get into woodworking. When it comes to whether you should buy a brand new saw or a vintage saw in a lot of cases, I believe that a brand new saw is going to serve you better if you're brand new to the, the game and you're not really sure how to restore a saw and what you're looking for when you're buying a vintage hand saw. And something like a tenon saw like this brand new one here would serve you well. It might cost quite a bit in the initial stages, however, if you buy a vintage saw and the plate's bent and you've got problems with the back and the handle's all smashed, then it's going to cost you quite a bit of time and research just and effort just trying to restore that saw. And also, the other thing is, if the teeth are wrong, you're going to have to resharpen it. Now, I've got videos for that that can help you do that. However, if you're just starting out and you just want to get into it, then I believe a brand new saw is probably the way to go. However, I've found over the time that it depends on what type of saw you're looking for as to whether you go vintage or brand new. If you're going with a bench saw or a hand saw, I believe there are plenty of them that are vintage that you can restore like the one here. They'll come in quite a bad state like this one here that's completely filthy and I've restored plenty of them. And I usually find that if the plates have just little bends in them you can correct that quite easily and I'll do another video showing you how to correct bends in saw plates. I have obviously got a brand new tenon saw here. This one is a E.T. Robert and Lee from Dorchester, England which is still made in the original factory. Now this is a little bit more expensive than some of other ones that have really poor handles and the like and thinner backs like this plate just here. It's got a very thin back on it. But when it comes to new saws, gent saws are very cheap. However, tenon saws are a lot more expensive and it's best to shop around. The reason I say new for dovetail saws, back saws and gent saws is that I've got plenty of plates just here of ones that I've bought and the plates are very twisted and I've struggled to actually correct them. A lot of them have also had bent backs and they are very hard to correct with little experience and, and obviously I've got three just here without handles that I haven't been able to straighten out. This one I've corrected slightly, however when you're buying new saws you really want to make sure that the saw plates are straight and I'll give you a close up of this one just so you can see what I'm talking about, how, how badly out of shape these plates can be. And that's why I believe a brand new one, especially for someone new and don't want to have any uh, roadblocks and problems in the way when you're first learning, it's nice to know with a brand new saw what a saw should be like. So if you have a brand new saw that's straight, nice and sharp and good to go, then you have an idea when you're looking for vintage ones in the future what to look for and what size and shape in that that you're looking for when buying a vintage saw. I honestly believe that because the prices are quite high these days for a lot of vintage tenon saws and dovetail saws and brand new ones are in, in a lot of cases I've found cheaper than the vintage ones that you've still got to restore then I would honestly believe looking at some of these brand new tenon saws. Even if you have to go to the local hardware store and buy a hard pointed saw to start with, although you can't resharpen them, they are very good for beginners starting out as the price is nice and cheap and they get the job done. But when it comes to the likes of cross cut bench saws and hand saws, I honestly believe that vintage saws are the way to go. As you can see, I've got a lot of restored ones here. I've had no problems with any of these. The only thing you might run into, like, with this one here is that the teeth are a mess and you'll have to refile or remove the teeth completely and refile the teeth. So if you want to see how to retooth uh, an old saw, please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that and I might make a video about it if there's enough interest. My take on, on this is that go brand new if you're looking for a dovetail gent saw or tenon saw 
as I've found that the quality of the vintage saws can be a roadblock and, and you might not be able to learn as well as you'd like because you might have a problem with the saw and not your technique. But when it comes to the bench saws and your hand saws, I think go for vintage because they're quite a quick and easy restoration and I'll leave a link in the comments below to the video where I restored a handsaw. Also how to sharpen them for rip cut and cross cut, I'll leave them in the description below as well. So there you have it folks. If, if you're not sure what you're looking for and whether you should buy a brand new handsaw or a vintage one, I hope this helps. And I do encourage everyone else that's out there and watches this video and has their own opinion, please sound off in the comments below and let everyone know, because I'm eager to know what you think as well. So, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing, check out my Facebook and Instagram pages, and as always, check out these great videos on the screen here right now to help you with your woodworking journey. Bye for now.